Hello YouTube, um, I'm here today to show you one of Black Hill Bride's probably best songs um, Probably the best offset the world on fire, it's Rebel Love Song I love this song, 2011 when Black Hill Brides were absolutely brilliant Just doing one moment, I'm going to put a light on And that's a bit better So, yeah, Rebel Love Song by Black Hill Brides And the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to, it's the full song I'm going to break it down like I did with Coffin So I'll do like intro verse and in this Then do the solo, then like chorus and outro and all that in the um the final one so it's going to be about three or four um tutorials long that's why it's use a short so i'm in a sunday clothes so it's drop c sharp tuning so that's e flat with a low drop c so that's um d sharp a sharp f sharp c sharp d sharp and another c sharp low low um c sharp so uh, great tuning, love this one, proper man's tuning. So, yeah, this one is, this tutorial is the intro, the verse, and the pre-chorus. Um, and it's both rhythm rhythm and lead. So, you want to start, um, both Jinx and Jake do this. This is um, the main intro. That bit's harmonised with Sorry. That bit's harmonised. So it's just, um... 4th fret A string or C sharp so 4th fret A string and then 6th fret D string and just slide that down 2 frets so I hit it once then slide down and just hit that 8 times then we've got the main riff which is um, heard a lot throughout the song but as soon as you hit last night, you're going back into the power chord, so... So I was just, uh... 4-2, all on the A string. 4-2, 5-2, 4-2, two. And obviously, then we're going to the power chords. Harmonized version, it's just on the 5th fret, so we got... 9-5... Sorry, 7-5, 9-5. And 7-5, then 4-5. I think Jinx plays that one, so. And these are the main, this is the uh, main intro. It's just I played twice, so that was a 2 4 power chord, so 2 A 4 D. Two lots of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Then we've got 5th fret board. Half of that time signature, then the same on the 2nd fret. And in comes the lead part that Jake plays. Um, now Jinx carries on playing that, so his part would sound like. Something you move up to the seventh fret, so it's just um, that that one that progression three times. Then on the final time, that's when Jake's doing that. That's when Jake's doing that. He just buys seven, same size, then five, then four, and that same riff. Um, so Jake's lead part, the lead intro, is really fun to play. Though I am playing the rhythm a lot more recently, I'm liking Jinx's parts in this song. So. Uh, it's really easy. So yeah, it's octave chords. So we got seven D, ten B. Slide it all up two frets, so nine and twelve. Sorry. Need to get a string cleaner. Then we got twelve and fifteen. So it's twelve. Um, 12D and 15B. Slide it all down one fret. Then back down to the 7th fret. And the 
kind of saw apart. It's just a four or five B. And bend up full on 15. So 14. Sorry, not four or five. 14, 15. You can do a dual kind of bend if you want, just add in the, on the 15th, add in 12E. But I, I don't really tend to do it. There we got 14, so bend, full bend. So 14, 15, bend up on 15, full, 15. Then we got 14, 15, forward, 14, and then 12, then twice 11 on G. Then we've got the arpeggio pattern, it's just 1410B, E, sorry, 12D, no, 12B, 9G, 1211D, then 10, um, 10, 9, A. That's the way that Jake plays it on the album, he just, um, He, he plays, he plays 14A, but yeah, I don't know, and then we got, one. hopefully that's all making sense so far, so. And CC does a little drum fill. In the main verse, it's repeated twice. It's just like... That's repeated twice. But it's just all on, well, pro predominantly on the A string. So we got two twice, second fret twice, five two, four two, open two. Same again. We got five A, sorry five E, then two five two on the air, then four two open air, then second fret E. Then we got two five two. So it's five E second fret. Fifth fret, second fret, and um, yeah. So we got fourth fret E, then one four, then two A. Hope that made sense. It was a bit weird that part. Then we got the same again. Then we just alternate between five and second fret of the um, five A second fret A. Sorry, five E. So five five two five five two five two. And slide it down one fret. Do the same thing. Do it for half the time. Then just slide it up to uh, the fourth fret of the A. Then repeat. And then a little sliding harmonica. And that's repeated twice, like I said. And then the lead, sorry, the rhythm um, pre chorus. What I do is I just play. That's what I've seen on tabs. So that's um, never going to change my mind. We can leave it all behind. Not going to stop us. No, not this time. So take your hand in. Then it goes into the chorus. So. That's strange. So yeah, it's 2 4 power chord. Second fret A, fourth fret D. By the fifth. Open, power chord, then by the seventh. Then into the chorus. Obviously, that's the next tutorial. 
Jinx is, sorry, Jake's part. Um, it's uh, some inside picking. <laughs> Oh, you can hear this. That's the inside picking. There is, um... That not played with swinging. But I can't do that bit yet. It's quite difficult. Um, so it's 12B. Open B twice. And 14E. And 12. And we've got 12 twice. So 12, 12B. 15B. 12B. Then 14, 12B, 14G, 12B. Oh, you can add in that little triple there. Let me go into the arpeggio stuff um, for the chorus. That's part one of Rebel Love Song. Um, hope it's made sense. Um, I've been wanting to do this one for a while, but I thought I'd wait till I get on Mockingbird to do it, just because of the music video, really. Um, Jake uses his uh, uh, Mockingbird Pro X, and it's a Pro X. So, that's um, Rebel Love Song. I'm going to be doing the next one probably straight after this video. Um, but it'll be uploaded like tomorrow or something. So, yeah, go check out my other channel, uh, my other videos on this channel. Um, while you're waiting for the next one, uh, I've got some great songs. I've got Coffin by Black Girl Brides. If you're into that, Jake used this guitar in Coffin. Um, you know, one thing I don't get about this guitar, Jake told me that, I told him I'd ordered this guitar on his channel, he replied to me, which I was surprised at. Um, he said, that shouldn't be for sale, the, the guitar was wrong. It, that's why he, he, he didn't like this guitar, and that's why he moved from BC Rich to Schecter. Which is a shame, because BC Rich, I think, are better than Schecter. Don't get me wrong, I love Schecter, but... BC Rich just take, take the biscuit for me. But yeah, he told me that this guitar it didn't come out right. I don't know. I think this is brilliant, this guitar. Um, it looks a lot better than his new models. His new ones are a bit more generic, really. You know, like Stratocaster or Thunderbird type. The Mockingbird just completely different. Like, look, it's got cracked glass and everything. It's just nice. It's got pits on the middle, like on the fretboard. So I don't know why he thinks it's um, a bad guitar. It's a shame that he doesn't use BC Rich anymore, because... You know, that's when you use BC Rich, that's when Black Hole Bryce was just brilliant with all the war paint and everything. Um then he went to Schechter and that just stopped. He start, he started going to Schechter around twenty thirteen when he got his first Schechter model. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of this tutorial. Let me know what you think of this guitar. Or Jake's new guitars. Um if you haven't seen them, go check them out. They're alright, Floyd Roses. I, I I love Floyd Roses and the uh, Floyd Rose guitars that Jake uses now. But like I said, too generic for me. So let me know what you think of them and give me your opinions and let's start a discussion about it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.